Hi there, this is Football360. My name is Kevin Graham. Uh, the channel is not something that's new. I've been adding various bits of content to it over the years, but I thought recently I'd uh, tidy it up, give it a name. Uh, I can't promise it's going to be the height of sophistication when it comes to media production, but I hope that the content is interesting to a number of people out there. The name Football360 comes from the fact that I have uh, various different experiences within the game and various different kind of perspectives, I guess, as a result. I played the game to a reasonable level in the non-league uh, pyramid, not quite professionally, but I um, was lucky enough to play with and against some wonderful players, players that I used to watch on television as a kid. Um, and I had an experience, I guess, over a course of seven or eight years playing at uh, some great non-league football clubs um, that really gave me an insight into a performance environment where budgets are allocated for managers, where pressure is on results, where uh, the, the kind of fan culture and the, the, what, the way that you kind of, uh, the responsibilities that you carry as a player and go beyond what I guess we all get used to as, as kids growing up or perhaps on a, in an amateur team. Um, the insight into the game at a fairly serious level was something that really helped to transform and develop my knowledge of the game. Uh, I had a playing career that I'm proud of. Uh, I don't think it really registered on too many people's radars. I, I was a limited footballer, that's for sure, but um, I was lucky to learn a lot and, and get some great experiences in, in that respect. Uh, towards the end of my playing career, I became a skipper at a number, a number of different clubs as well, so always the one with the big mouth. Uh, I was the one happy to, to scream and shout at other players and to, to provide some kind of leadership. Um, and I guess uh, the transition into coaching was fairly natural when I finished playing. I've worked as a coach, lots of different clubs, lots of different environments, so grassroots clubs, soccer schools, um, up to age group teams, uh, development groups, under 19s. I've been a, a first team coach, been an assistant manager, been a senior manager myself. Um, I've worked over here in Spain as well. Uh, which has been a wonderful experience and I continue to do that uh, and I guess the pinnacle of my, my coaching and management career so far was, was quite early in that I, I got the opportunity to, to be the Guernsey national team manager um, not long after I finished playing and that was you know, partly right place, right time, partly my contacts in the game and the kind of character that I guess I was as a player um, and, and that probably helped me to get that role. Uh, I was certainly very wet behind the ears as a coach. Um, I had a lot to learn and you know, still do, but um, you know that was uh, that was now seven, eight years ago, and um, I've been uh, I've learned a lot since that point. But it was a wonderful experience. Um, big crowds, thousands of people watching, uh, lots of media attention before, during, and after games, um, and it uh, certainly stood me in good stead. And, and so again, something very I'm very proud of. Um, on top of that, I've also done some scouting work for, for people in the game, friends and connections that I have, so whether that's opposition analysis uh, on a regular basis or kind of every now and then when I get a phone call, um, sometimes scouting players as well, so that, that gives you a different perspective. And then on top of that, I've also written about the game. So even when I was playing, I wrote a player's column, continued that and my interest in writing about the game when I coached, when I started coaching. Uh, and I've done a number of different columns for various different publications, most recently uh, in the non-league paper doing a, a, a kind of tactics column and then also uh, similarly for the Evening Gazette up in Middlesbrough covering Middlesbrough Football Club, which I still do to this day. So um, again, a, a different perspective from playing management, having to, to provide comment and, and hopefully make it, you know, sh share some insight that's, uh, that's relevant and useful for the people who are reading it. Um, on top of that, I also worked uh, in the professional game the year after I finished university, working with young professional footballers day in, day out at uh, Reading, Wickham, Northampton and Oxford United. Some players who went on to be fantastic players, Premier League players, internationals. Um, in, in the players' environment within the, their respective football clubs, either at the training grounds or, or at the grounds themselves. So I think if you amalgamate all that, I come at the game from lots of different perspectives and hopefully the, the opinions that I share um, the comments that I make um, have a, a, a perhaps a slightly unique um, kind of um, background to them. I am going to be doing a number of number of very number, number of different types of content on here. So there'll be some opinion pieces from me on topical stuff around managerial appointments, about trends in the game. There'll be some kind of more coaching related stuff on training sessions, some tactical analysis of games, um, which I hope will appeal to, to fans and coaches alike. Um, and I'm also going to be doing a series of interviews um, on here, Skype interviews with managers, coaches uh, and even chairmen and administrators in the game just to share the insight of the inner workings of football clubs at a fairly serious level. 
um, that's professional, semi-professional and amateur game. So I, I hope that um, that type of content is going to be interesting to you all. Uh, if you do like it, uh, I think it's customary now to say please subscribe, please like, please tell your friends about it, please drop in. Uh, I can't guarantee that it's always going to be relevant for you, it's always going to be interesting to you, but I think the mix of stuff on here will mean that hopefully that uh, there's something that, that appeals to everyone at some stage.